To get started with compositing, I'm going to show you how to adjust position. This technique will work if you're adjusting a clip on the primary storyline, or as here, a clip on the secondary storyline. A really important trick to get started is to always option click on a clip that you're going to adjust in the inspector. The reason for that is as you skim over a clip, you get the skimmer, the red line. But when you leave this timeline pane, then the viewer reverts to the actual playhead. Now clicking in the ruler moves the playhead, and so does option clicking on a clip. Because you want to select a clip and move the playhead in one movement, I always recommend you option click to make sure that the playhead gets left in the right place for adjusting in the inspector. The inspector is this area over here to the right, and the title bar can now be double clicked to make it take up the full height of the screen, though I'll leave it collapsed for the moment. To move a clip around, which is important if you're going to do multi-layered compositing with multiple shots at the same time, you want to look for this transform section. If you've never opened it out, you'll have to hover over this section and click the word show to see all the options here. Focusing just on position to start, you can see X and Y values here, X being horizontal and Y being vertical. And dragging on these numbers moves in X and Y. There's more organic controls available as well. I can click this button to add or remove on-screen controls. And once they're added, the Done button is another way to get rid of those on-screen controls. Pushing the button then, I can simply move the clip around in both dimensions at once, and there's obviously more to it, which we'll look at in the next video to do with rotation and scaling. Focusing on this little button though, there is a duplicate of this button in the bottom left corner of the viewer. It does exactly the same thing. But this menu is also how you access Crop and Distort. The icon you see here is the last one you chose from this menu. But over here in the Inspector, the three buttons are always available and separate. To recap then, moving a selected clip is straightforward. You just want to either drag on the numbers or activate and use the on-screen controls. If you get lost, there is a Reset button on each parameter or on the entire transform panel. Pressing that sets it back to default settings. I'll show you next how to combine this with rotation and scale controls.